Stephen Key here. Today, I want to talk about greed. I guess it's greed, but you've got this great idea and, and uh, maybe you've applied for a patent or maybe you just have a provisional patent application. But the bottom line is you think this idea is so big that not only can sell in the United States, but it could sell in Canada, Mexico, Maybe it could sell worldwide. There you go, worldwide. So what do I do? I'm here to tell you, filing intellectual property outside the United States can get very, very, very expensive. Guess what? I've done it. I know. I know what it costs. I'm here to tell you, most people don't do it. Even big companies don't file for patents all over the world. I think the average cost to file in most places around the world is like $350,000. Who's got that type of money? So how do you get companies to pay you in all those other countries that maybe you don't have perceived ownership that you haven't filed in? And I got this question from somebody. Here's what I've learned through all of it. If you find a company here in the United States that does sell in other territories, Right, they're corporates here, they manufacture over in China, but they, they, they have distribution here in the United States, maybe in Canada, maybe Mexico, but maybe over in Europe too. I found that these companies will still give you a royalty rate, even though you don't have protection in other countries. Why is that? That makes no sense at all. They do it because it's goodwill gesture. They do it because maybe you, you've got some trade secrets or some know-how. Maybe they do it because they're just being nice. Now that sounds crazy, but I did experience that with a company, that they didn't have intellectual property in some other places, but they still paid me a royalty. Now, here's the catch. It wasn't as high, and that was perfectly fine with me. So, do I think you should file patents all around the world? I'll tell you, if you've got some deep pockets, and you can show demand, right? You know that people want it, and you're willing to chase people all over the world and, and protect it and sue people, yeah, be my guest. But I don't think that's a smart move. You see, so I do, I think this, have developed perceived ownership here in the United States, find a good company that's got long arms everywhere, right? And, and when you sign that licensing agreement, there's a very good chance that they're gonna pay you for every unit they sell, no matter where they sell it. There you go, no matter where they sell it. You heard it here, Stephen Key, thank you for watching. Subscribe, we're doing great. You guys are asking some great questions. And this came from someone down below that asked a great question. So I'm glad to be able to answer it. Please keep watching, subscribing, and see you next time. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just wanna thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.